you know, class, I think we should have a dance off. What do you think? Maybe everybody turn on your favorite music and just dance at home and like, like do it in your living room or someplace, you know, a little more public. And then like send your, your submissions to manage back and we can have like, a, a, I'll compile them and we can have like a grade six dancing competition. What do you think? No? Mm, okay. I'm in the mood to dance, but I guess it's time to start class. So let's do it. Here we go. Uh, today is April the 7th. Whoa! And we have a lot to do today. So last week, everybody should have taken your video of you making your homemade tourist treats. And I've been looking at the pictures and oh my gosh, some of them are amazing. Like they make my mouth just like salivate. Like I'm hungry. I want to eat so bad after looking at some of them. But anyway, so you made these videos and you should have put it together with the previous videos you had made about how to make the vacuum formed models and and 3D print them in from Cura. So you should have a really awesome little video now showing how to make your vacuum formers infusion, send it to Cura, and then another part of how you actually made your homemade tourist tree. So now I want you to think back in your mind a little bit, back to criteria C1. Here's our handy dandy design cycle. And in criteria C1, what you did was you made a logical plan of how to make your homemade tourist street. Now this is back in March 17th and 19th. That's a while back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go review that today and we're gonna think about the homemade tourist street that you made and you're gonna think about what you had originally planned to make and you're gonna do criteria C4 explaining changes. Like what did you write in your plan that didn't really work? What did you plan to do that you couldn't do? And explain how what you couldn't do versus what you planned to do, how it was different than what you actually made here. This sounds complicated. It's actually really, really easy. So let me explain. I'm gonna give you guys this file that you see here. Notice it has two pages. The one on the left is a template. It, or not a template. The one on the left is merely an example. This shows you what I expect to see. The one on the right is for you to actually fill out. So when you download this, you're gonna look at this example, make sure you understand it, do the work on the right, and then you can come up to the pages thumbnail right here in the sidebar and just delete that page. Okay, delete the example. I don't want you to turn that in. Okay, so let's take a look, see, a real quick look. Here's the instructions first off. It says plan changes. What changes should you make to your C1 plan? Now, does it say to go make those changes? No, 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 it does not. Do not go make the changes. Just ask, should is the key word. What changes should you make to your plan to make it easier for someone else to follow to make your homemade tourist street? Now, what you have to do is be specific and show pictures from C1 with annotations. That looks like this. Okay, so here's an example of a plan here was the step, here's the tools, here's the time, and these are annotations. Instead of pliers, probably should have used tweezers. Instead of saying measure, should say to measure mark lines, and so on, right? This is just an example. Now this is for making a wooden box, but your plan would talk about how you made your homemade tourist street, and the changes here should make the plan better. I'm not telling you to go make those changes. Do not make those changes. Just take a screenshot of your plan, the parts that should be improved, and then explain how or why they need to be changed. Now the bottom half is the exact same, only different. Wait, if it's the exact same, how can it be different, right? Yeah, I never understood that. Anyway, it's not about the plan, it's about your design of your product, your actual homemade tourist treat. So here it says, what changes should you make to your homemade tourist treat to make it a better product, to better meet the needs of your target audience, or to better fill the needs of the design situation. Again, show photos and annotate them to explain the improvements. So here's an example, back to the wooden box. So here's the product that somebody made, and these three annotations are explaining improvements. For example, the creator of this box says, you know what, these locks are very weak, and they should have used something stronger. 
They said that they don't like the wood here, that the pine wood is pretty, but that their customers probably would have preferred oak. Right? These are improvements to the design. These are improvements to the plan. And that is what you're going to explain for me today. How could you improve your plan? How could you improve your product? Now, where's your C1? In case you've forgotten, it's on Manage Back, and you should have done that back on March the 17th and the 19th. And of course, your homemade tourist treat last week, right? So that should be fresh in your mind. You should have already made it. Hopefully you ate it. Hopefully it was yummy. So what kind of improvements could you make to the design? Well, think about your customers. Think about your target audience. Think about what you made. Could you make it tastier? Could you make it represent the, 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 the market better? Like if you were making an Eiffel Tower, could you make it look more like the Eiffel Tower or the Tokyo Tower or, you know, the Statue of Liberty, right? Could you improve its aesthetics? Could you improve its safety? Could you make it healthier? Uh, could you use cleaner or safer or better ingredients? Could you do something to make it faster so that you could produce more of them? There's a million different things you could talk about here. So you got to get a little creative and try to find those, right? This is an objective or an exercise in identifying strengths and weaknesses in both your plan and your product and looking for ways to improve them. Okay, that's it for today. If you dash over to Manage Back, which is where I'm sure you've been, that is explained here uh, a little bit shorter than I said now. And then the file is on Manage Back, the template for C4. So download it, give it a go. I'm only planning one day for this activity, but we might make it two depending on what I see turned in. Now remember, you need to turn it in at the end of the day finished or not, you need to turn it in because I have to take attendance and I do that based on what you do or do not turn in. So make sure you turn in something that includes everyone. Okay. All right. That's it for today. I hope this helps and makes sense. Um, I really, really want to get back on campus. I'll see you all later. Email me if you have any questions. I'll be on MS. Whoa. I'll be on MS teams all day long. Of course. If you send me a chat, I will pop up right here on Wada Shoji because I have it with me all the time. And some of you know that chat, 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 chat. I will answer as soon as I can. Okay. Miss you all. See you soon.